Welcome to our fifth and final night in Brooklyn from the Howard Gilman Opera House at the Brooklyn Academy of Music. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but we've, uh, we've had a lot of fun this week. Everybody's been so warm and welcoming. I speak on behalf of our entire staff when I say we are filled with gratitude and mortadella. We are uh, <laughs> Brooklyn. Over the last five days, you have filled our hearts with joy, our stomachs with pizza, and our luggage with bed bugs, and we thank you. <laughs> and while we do not want to go, we have to go because we will be dead very soon if we do not. I got on the scale this morning. Uh, it said my body was 40% meatball. <laughs> I, oh, I do want to thank ma the many fine dining establishments who overfed us. Uh, I want to thank uh, the great staff and crew here at BAM for all their hard work and kindness. It takes a lot of people to make this show happen. Thanks to our great staff and crew for pulling this off without a hitch, and mostly thanks to you guys for writing in for tickets and for lining up in the cold and all of that stuff. We love you. I love you. Thank you. This, this opera house has become our opera home, and we are planning to finish out the week in a big way. The great Brian Cranston is with us tonight. That's right. The uh, Wu-Tang Clan is with us tonight. And sitting in with Cleto and the Cletones, he is known in his native Canada as Thunder Beethoven, the one, the only, the world's most dangerous band leader, Paul Schaefer is here. Thunder Beethoven! Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> Thunder Beethoven, I love it. Can I, make, can I be honest? I made that up this afternoon and I called Martin Short just to tell him how great this new nickname for you Unbelievable is. Unbelievable name. What did he say? <laughs> he loved it. I <laughs> love it too. Thank you, Jimmy. You have given me my name. <laughs> you gave know. me my name. <laughs> I'm happy to give you Thunder your name. Hunter Beethoven, thank Paul's you. Paul's been in Las Vegas. Yes, indeed. Mini <laughs> residency. Yes. I got one more weekend of the mini residency coming up on November 29, that weekend. That's a lot of fun at Caesar's Palace. And Martin Vegas. Short, yes, yeah, Caesar's Palace and Cleopatra's Lounge. You never know who's going to drop by. Martin Short came by the very first night. Oh, he did. Dave Letterman came by. Wow. He came up and did about 20 minutes, and he lectured me. He said, "Paul, you know what Buddy Hackett said? You do not say Vegas unless you have performed on a Vegas stage. Otherwise, you must say Las Vegas." That's right. Have you performed on a Vegas stage? Oh, but I was born on a Vegas. Well, stage. then you can say Vegas. <laughs> Every all the rest of you people. Las Vegas. It's Las Vegas. That's that is right. He's right on that. Yes, and you'll be thrown right to hell in jail if you say it otherwise. Please don't. And Please we also, don't. by the way, not just Paul, another beloved late night television sidekick waiting in the wings. He's from Los Angeles, California, by way of Mexico. Let's count it down and say hello to Guillermo, everybody. <laughs> A drunken disco ball has come to life. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.